In this module, we're going to go over enterprise releases. An enterprise release is a container for multiple project and independent releases. This is useful when you have a regular release train and project releases either make the train or they have to wait for the next train. And that enterprise release provides the overall governance and compliance for the project releases, especially when they need to come together for integrated testing and deployment. An enterprise release has a release manifest, and this is for the intake approval of those project releases. The enterprise release can push phases, gates, activities, and criteria down to those project releases. And notice that there's no changes tab. Those changes are reserved for project and independent releases. And as I mentioned, the enterprise release can push activities and criteria uh, down to project releases uh, by using this release framework concept. So let's take a look. Obviously on the release menu item, I've selected release manager and I'm taking a look at the releases. You will notice there is a filter to turn on and off enterprise releases as well as project independence. Right now I'm taking a look at all the 2112 releases and I have some project releases and you notice I have some enterprise releases. So here's a billing enterprise release with three children and here's a claims release with five children. If I drill in to this enterprise release, you will see kind of the normal information on a release just like projects and independent releases, but it has a new tab, the release manifest tab. So on the left are the available projects for scoping and on the right are the ones that are under consideration. And you can simply drag and drop from left to right the project releases you want. So right now there are three under consideration and there's some intake approval that you can do. So as a release manager, you can say, hey, the authentication project, yep, that's approved. The portal project's approved, but I need more information on the BI project. So uh, that's under review right now. Intake approval is configurable. So you can create a little workflow. If I go to customization, releases, release intake status. I have four statuses here with a default status of pending and uh, color coding. So if you'd like a different set of statuses for intake approval, go ahead and add them here. Coming back to release manager, the enterprise release does have activities. If I look at one of these activities, there is a release framework area. What this is indicating is, does this activity or criteria apply just to the enterprise release, just to the child release, or to both? So you can either have items that, you know, at a higher level the release manager is worrying about, and as well at the lower level, or you can share them. You'll also notice an analytics tab for enterprise releases. And what the analytics tab is doing is rolling up the status of all the project releases. So you can see the phase and gate progress, the user story progress by type. Are there any test environment change requests? Are there any booking requests? Is there an associated deployment plan? So we're really trying to give you a one-stop shop for how the entire enterprise release is doing. There's also an analytics tab on the individual project and independent releases just for that release. So as an activity, I'd like you to add a new enterprise release and then add a project release or two to that enterprise release.